I'm thrilled to be able to tell you about a new breast cancer research project just launched in memory of the singer Sarah Harding. Sarah died in 2021, aged 39, from metastatic breast cancer. One of her final wishes was to find new ways to spot breast cancer at an earlier stage when it is more treatable. The Breast Cancer Risk Assessment in Young Women, BCAN Ray study, led by Dr Sasha Howell, is taking place in Greater Manchester. It's funded by the Christie Charity, CRUK and the Sarah Harding Breast Cancer Appeal. It is one of the first studies in the world to identify women who are at risk of getting breast cancer in their 30s. Currently, 2,300 women in their 30s are diagnosed with breast cancer each year and the numbers are rising. It is the commonest cause of death in this age group and we still don't understand the reason for this increase. At least 65% of these women do not have a family history of breast cancer. Researchers hope that their findings will enable all young women to have a risk assessment for breast cancer when they reach the age of 30. Those that fall into the high risk group would be given early access to screening. The trial is recruiting 1,000 women who were born biologically female and they will have a mammogram to assess their breast density, followed by a saliva sample for genetic analysis and a psychological impact questionnaire. At the end of the trial, in 2025, they will all receive a breast cancer risk statement. Now, the trial has three objectives. The first is to define breast cancer risk associated with breast density because we know the two are linked and feed this information back into breast cancer risk prediction models. The second objective is to see whether a breast cancer risk assessment is feasible for women in their 30s, looking at all ethnic and socio-economic populations. They will look at the potential benefits and harms of screening, and this is important because like the NHS breast screening programme, there are pros and cons and many women don't go. They'll also look at the impact of the screening on health inequalities and whether it's acceptable to the young women or not. The third objective is to explore the potential of genetic analysis using DNA methylation signatures from saliva samples, and this is to further refine breast cancer risk prediction models. The hope is that the young women who are given a risk of sorry, the young women who are given a high risk of getting breast cancer in the future can be offered enhanced breast screening at an earlier age, which should lead to improvements in survival cost savings to the NHS, but most importantly, reduce the number of young women who are dying from breast cancer. I'm Dr. Liz Arudin. I'm a breast surgeon who's had breast cancer. Thanks for subscribing to my channel.